within the next probably 10 to 12 hours, we're going to see the worst of what Hurricane Irma has in store for folks in the U.S. The southernmost point in Key West basically in the path as we speak. This is still a pretty formidable storm, even though it's not a Category 5 still. It still looks impressive on satellite imagery. It is now starting to form and reform an eye wall. It went through an eye wall replacement cycle, started to get stronger, and once it gets over these Florida Straits waters, which you got water temperatures at 88, 89 degrees, perfect fuel for a hurricane, that is going to lead to rapid intensification overnight, and by the time it hits Key West, most likely a very strong Category 4 storm. So let's talk about the particulars once again, and the track has shifted since the last advisory, so let's talk about it. 120 mile per hour winds moving to the northwest at 6. Key West tomorrow morning, 8 to 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Then folks in Naples and Fort Myers by, let's say, 5 to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. By 8 o'clock at night, it'll be north of Fort Myers and then pretty close to off the coast of the Big Bend of Florida. And then watch what happens. A Category 1 down south in the Big Bend of Florida moves in to southwest Georgia right near the Alabama-Georgia uh, Alabama state line just south of, let's say, Auburn. It's a tropical storm with winds of 60 miles per hour, and it moves basically right through central Alabama. It does become a remnant low by Tuesday. But this means we could catch some pretty significant uh, impacts from what will be left of Hurricane Irma. At that time, it will just be Tropical Storm Irma or just the remnants of Irma. Let's talk about some of the impacts a little bit farther away first, and then we'll get back to closer to home. Those Tropical Storm watches go for folks in Auburn all the way down south. We are not under a watch or a warning just yet for folks here in central Alabama. So don't have to worry about that just yet. But things can change. Let's talk about the winds. The wind forecast, tropical storm force winds in yellow. The red is hurricane force winds. This is going to be a catastrophic thing for folks in southwest Florida. And you see those winds move up into the Tampa Bay area and then quickly into the Florida panhandle. And it looks like just tropical storm force winds for us by the time we get to Monday and into Tuesday. Power outages are going to be a big deal, and that's what we could expect, too, for uh, folks on Monday into Tuesday. We could see some power outages as well, but widespread, and we're talking weeks of power outages down in Florida. So the impacts for us, brass tacks, let's get down to it. The impacts for us start Monday evening into Tuesday. We could see anywhere from 2 to 3 inches of rain by Tuesday night, winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. And the most likely time that that's going to happen is going to be Monday afternoon by 3 to 4 o'clock until Tuesday morning. That's when the gustiest of the winds will appear. So 20 to 30 mile per hour winds sustained, 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts for us starting Monday afternoon lasting into Tuesday.